That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I... I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Isn't that the cops who solved the big case and got promoted? Your favorite? Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. And that way, the people of Western... Hey, I know you. No, you don't. Food wasn't great, but you're real nice. Looking for someone. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. 
He's a loner in the back. Where's that goddamn weight? <laughs> Just Frank Morgan? To accompany Who's asking? Work. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. I got drinking to do. You're getting nothing more from me. Boy, that steak had seen better days. That cherry pie was delicious. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? Car 11 King, car 11 King, come in. KGPL calling car 11 K. 11 King, come in. 11 K, go ahead. Message from technical services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, Phelps. Check the place out. Come on. Apartment two. You gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. No point running, Adrian.
Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department.